Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Xbox On. Benny and Henry here with a guide to 10 games taking advantage of one of the most exciting features of Xbox Series S and X, ray tracing. So, when we're talking about ray tracing on the Xbox Series S and X, it's specifically hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing. This is a console first, and it's going to totally change the way games look, so let's break down that name a little bit. The hardware accelerated bit means it's tapping directly into the power of the GPU, which has been designed with ray tracing in mind, rather than relying on software to handle the calculations. DirectX is the name for the game tool that Microsoft offers to developers, and ray tracing is a new feature for DirectX 12. But the important bit, ray tracing is a technology originally used in CG for movies that's able to simulate every single ray of light and how it bounces off objects in the world. That's right, it traces rays. So basically, you're looking at the most realistic shadows and lighting effects you've ever seen in a game. Not every game will necessarily incorporate the tech though, so here's our guide to 10 Xbox Series S and X titles that make full use of ray tracing technology. Go on, treat your eyes. Let's start with one of Xbox's biggest franchises, because ray tracing is coming to Forza Tech. In case you don't know, Forza Tech is the game engine that sits below the hood of both the Forza Motorsport and Forza Horizon games. We'll get our first glimpse of it in action in the new Forza Motorsport, the next-gen racing sim that was announced earlier this year, and apparently it's created some changes that go beyond just shinier motors. But we'll let creative director Chris Isaki explain that. You know, one of the things that um, that we discovered, of course, when we, we turned ray tracing on is that um, the good, the bad, and the ugly came out in our technology, <laughs> right? So as an example, like the cars, you turn on ray tracing and there are a lot of real sharp edges. So it's not just that ray tracing is coming to Forza Tech, it's actually that a whole host of other technology around um, how we're improving the car models and how we're improving the track uh, visuals and the environment visuals and, and the character visuals, uh, just to make everything um, just beautiful and, and really pop in the scene. I mean, we haven't had many complaints about how the Forza games look up to this point, so knowing that every single aspect is going to get even better and smoother, sign us up. And sticking with those big Xbox franchises, how about Halo Infinite? Can't get much bigger than that. Okay, we don't know much about how ray tracing will be implemented in Master Chief's next adventure just yet, but we do know it's coming. Back in July, 343 confirmed that ray tracing would be added to the game in a post-launch update, as part of its plans to keep the game evolving over time. We also know that the Forerunner ring world you explore in the campaign is going to have a day-night cycle, which are a perfect fit for the tech. And when we got a glimpse at how that world is shaping up earlier this year, it was already pretty impressive, even without ray tracing. Meanwhile, over in multiplayer, which is going to be free to play by the way, it'll support frame rates all the way up to 120 FPS for super smooth Spartan splattering. So the fact that ray tracing is going to be in the mix too, that's music to our ears. Specifically, this music. But you don't have to be a massive AAA team to take advantage of ray tracing on Xbox Series S and X, as Bright Memory Infinite proves. This FPS meets stylish action game looks utterly gorgeous, so it's hard to believe it's actually being made by a one-man team in China. But clearly, they're determined to take advantage of every last next-gen feature to make this the shiniest shooter around, because, I mean, look at it. The game will run in 4K 60fps on Xbox Series X and use ray tracing to make reflective surfaces as lifelike as possible. Not that you'll have much time to admire those reflections, because you'll be too busy battling off soldiers and mythical beasts with your sword, gun and grappling hook. Next, we're headed from China to Poland, home of Observer and Blair Witch developers Bluber Team, who are set to serve up some next-gen chills with their game, The Medium. This psychological horror game is set in the city of Krakow. Well, the cities of Krakow more accurately, because as the titular psychic, you'll be able to jump between two versions of the world, the everyday one 
and the spirit realm, inspired by the paintings of a legendary Polish artist. Switching between the two looks totally seamless, making the most of that speedy SSD, and with the inclusion of ray tracing, you can expect both to look equally gorgeous. And if you can't get your fill of games set in creepy, ray-traced versions of real-life Eastern European locations, well, that's a niche that's going to be amazingly well served by Xbox Series S and X. Because coming out of Ukraine, we've also got Stalker 2. This is the long-awaited sequel to the cult classic which, after a decade away, is finally taking us back to The Zone. It's sci-fi horror version of 80s Chernobyl, where the nuclear disaster led to the creation of mutants and physics warping anomalies. Those are the weird glowy things. Perfect for ray tracing, actually. It all adds up to a grimly beautiful open world, and when it arrives on Xbox Series S and X, it'll be launching onto Game Pass right from day one. So, hey, not everything is as grim and awful as it seems. So that's a couple of peeks at how the graphical power of Xbox Series X will let developers make their game worlds more convincing, lifelike, and eerie than ever before. But how about an example right from the opposite end of the color spectrum? Call of the Sea is a first-person adventure game featuring the voice talents of Sissy Jones, who you might know from Telltale's Walking Dead games and her BAFTA award-winning performance in Firewatch. She plays Nora on the trail of her missing husband, whose expedition disappeared somewhere in the South Pacific. Nora's hunt leads to an island paradise of forests, beaches, and ancient ruins that looks like the perfect tropical holiday destination. With every sunbeam ray trace for ultimate realism, it's almost enough to give you a tan right there on your sofa. It's not all sunshine and rainbows though, because something lies beneath all that lush tropical greenery something a tad Lovecraftian. But whether you're basking in the sun or heading below the waves to discover the island's darker secrets, one thing remains the same, it all looks completely stunning. Next, it's off into ray-traced outer space with Chorus Rise as One. This is a fast-paced space combat sim with an added dose of control-style weirdness. You play as ace starship pilot Nara, trying to make amends for her dark past and as her best pal Forsaken, who happens to be a sentient AI spaceship. So you'll not only be flying amongst the stars and getting into dogfights, but tapping into Nara's mind-bending special abilities and apparently going beyond the boundaries of reality. No word on what exactly that means for ray tracing, but the explosions already look amazing. Oh, and we should mention Xbox Series S and X also make it totally possible to bring ray tracing to backwards compatible games. In fact, one of the very earliest demos of Xbox Series X gameplay was Gears 5. This was back in the spring, and at the time, the Coalition had just done a couple of weeks' work to get it up and running on the new hardware, and the results were already remarkable. We're talking boosted frame rates, higher res textures, speedy load times, and yes, ray tracing specifically ray traced screen space global illumination, courtesy of Unreal Engine 4. So this is using a software-based method, but it still looks great. The Coalition managed to take a game that already looked fantastic and make it well and truly next-gen. We can't wait to get our hands on the finished product, and thanks to smart delivery, everyone who owns Gears 5 will be able to play the Xbox Series S and X optimized version of the game at no extra charge. Nice. It now falls on you to build a resistance and take back London. Speaking of smart delivery, another game that will let you upgrade to the next gen version absolutely free is Watch Dogs Legion, the new Ubisoft open world game coming to Xbox One later this month. Legion is set in a dystopian future London with endless stuff to discover and mess around with between missions which means it's a good chance to see what ray tracing does with puddles and grey skies, as well as what it brings to iconic locations, from stained glass windows in the Houses of Parliament to the bright lights of Piccadilly Circus. To really see the effects of ray tracing on a game we're all familiar with, you can't do much better than good old Minecraft. There's not been any official word yet on an Xbox Series S and X optimized version of everyone's favorite dig em up, but a ray trace version of the game was used to demo the power of Series X alongside Gears 5, and it looks incredible. 
All those blocky textures we know and love are there. But when you turn on realistic lighting, thanks to ray tracing, it totally changes the visual style of the game. So there you have it, 10 games tapping into the power of ray tracing on Xbox Series X and S. This is sure to be just the start, so watch this space for more next-gen updates. In the meantime, let us know which ray traced games you're most excited for down in the comments, and be sure to hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!